scene selection is crucial. The scene selection is very important because it helps us captivate our viewers by um, selecting the certain scenes or footage or medias that we can use to help convey our emotion or feel that we're going for. And also if we want to make something very, very um, flashy or very visually appealing, uh, we can do that in the in, in much less time, um, make um, the ad, edit a reality. I would like to say um, the biggest takeaway should be that um, scene selection is very subjective. It is something that is going to vary across editor to editor as mentioned before, but also at the same time, um, since you will have a different a different feel of the edit or you will have a different way of making an edit compared to somebody else, even if it's the same sort of like a style wink wink, that is completely okay. There's nothing to be ashamed about, especially if you're starting out because we all make the edits differently. That's the idea. We all make edits differently. Of course, there are basics to each and every edit, but that varies between person to person, of course. Point number one, give your scene some time. Basically, you just want to give your clips the amount of breathing room they need for it to be um, contributing to the, to the pacing of your audio. Essentially, um, your, your edit will be paced visually and your audio is paced well audibly. And um, with, do so, with those two together, it really makes a big difference if one or the other is not paced well. And for scene selection, that's no different. All you have to do though, is just kind of figure out where you want your clips, your clips to end, where you want your effects to end, stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, um, it is hard, harder at times for certain styles and certain um, genres of edits you're going for. And, and even the simple little um, little effects or simple little um, scale outs or values or, or anything that you're going to be using. But essentially, just try to figure out what needs more breathing room than the others, what needs less. And yeah, that's pretty much it for point number one. Another point uh, that's really good to note is that scenes pretty much, like I said in the first point, it makes up your base. Your base is always going to consist of the basics. So having a basic scene selection, um, especially one that is uh, well selected and well chosen, um, will actually grant you a positive benefit or like a real benefit into your um, editing process because you actually can use scenes that will work for your um, edit that you're trying to go for and other things too. Point number three, learning how to match cut. Match cutting is when you are taking two clips with similar subjects, such as something, for example, in the air and around the same position as the other clip um, and trying to cut between both of them. And that's pretty much the how what how match cutting really works. I mean, it is a little bit harder to actually get the cuts that you need, but it is something to look forward into for the long for the long run. And that's pretty much it.